Hey, I'm Kyle Beltran. I'm Yvette Gonzalez Nacer. We're the stars of In, In the, the Heights, Heights and, and you're, you're watching, watching Boston, Boston Latino, Latino TV. TV. In the Heights is a familiar story about a changing community in New York City's Washington Heights neighborhood. A place where the sense of Latino cuisine fills the air and music streams into your ears and your soul. It's a community slowly morphing into something new, full of desires, dreams, and life's challenges. I'm here with Kyle Beltran and Yvette Gonzalez, yes. Nacer, stars of In the Heights. How does it feel to be in a play like this that's being compared to West Side Story, Fiddler on the Roof, um, Guys and Dolls? It's really amazing, I think, to um, first of all, to have the opportunity to be in a show that's about Latinos, that is so incredibly successful and, and that has uh, garnered so much um, support and and, uh, and sort of critical acclaim. It's really exciting for us. And then to just to be a part of a legacy of a new show that will probably have a really long life and become a classic eventually is, is pretty extraordinary for us. Tell me how you identify with your character. Well, I think um, the character of Vanessa that I'm playing, she basically works at a hair salon and has a lot of problems at home. Her mom drinks away their money, so she has a really hard time getting out. And But I think that Vanessa, like all young people, is just trying to better their life, you know, and always holding on to their dreams and, and having hope despite the fact that sometimes it's really difficult to realize your dream. We all know that Lin Miranda originated the role on Broadway. How does it feel for you to be taking on that responsibility now? <laughs> At first it was terrifying, uh, but also very exciting. I think, um, first of all, I'm a huge fan of Lynn, and, uh, and I was in that audience sitting watching him just after the Tonys in 2008, so, so to be, uh, uh, to have his trust um, and his support in this is really, really amazing. And uh, it's they are huge uh, shoes to fill, but the entire creative team, in, including Lynn from the beginning, really encouraged me to make it my own and to sort of explore it and, and, and sort of build Usnavi from what I have to offer. I sip my coffee and smirk the first stop as people hop to work. Busted. I'm like, $1, $2, 150 169 I got it. You want a box of condoms? What kind? That's two quarters. Two quarter waters. The New York Times, you need a back for that. The tax is added. Once you get some practice at it, you do rapid mathematics automatically. Some maxi pads, posy dice with taxi cabs. Practically everybody's stressed. Yes, but they press through the mess. Bounce checks and wonder what's next. In the heights, I find my coffee and I go. I find my coffee and send my sights. How have audiences been reacting to In the Heights? Just, I think it just is one of those shows that audiences can relate to, not just the stories, but the characters on stage and, um, and are just filled with life. There's so much exciting music and, and dancing and it's the joy that, that we bring on the stage is, I think, infectious. So by the end, they were with us. Let me get an amaretto sour for this ghetto flower. How are you so pretty? You complete me. You have me a hello. You know you need me. Truly, madly, deeply, let's get freaky. Oh, I get it. You the strong and silent type. Well, I'm the Caribbean island type, and I could drive you wild all night. But I digress. Say something so I don't stress. No hablo inglés. Yes. <laughs> I think the themes of the show are really universal and that's the beautiful thing about what we get to do because the Broadway company sort of sits down and they stay in New York and we have the opportunity to bring the story to, to city after city after town after city and to see these communities be affected by the community that we've built and changed and moved and, and like Yvette said, every city sort of has a different way of uh, navigating their way through the world but by the end I think you can always tell that everyone is so inspired. When I was younger, I'd imagine what would happen if my parents had stayed in Puerto Rico. Who would I be if I had never seen Manhattan? If I lived in Puerto Rico with my people, my people. It's so wonderful that we are able to portray these characters um, because there are a lot of um, impressions of what Latino communities are across the country and, and um, a lot of those are negative unfortunately because of things that are in the news or in movies and we are um, act as actors are bringing to life a community of regular Latino people who get up every day and work hard to support their families and, and chase their dreams and, um, and so I think I'm excited for the nation to see, to see us in that light. <laughs> 